Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing a massive skincare haul. Now, I went a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I did get quite a few different bits. I've been on a bit of a skincare journey this lockdown and I've kind of just realized what's good for my skin, what isn't, all that jazz. So um, yeah, absolutely buzzing. There is quite a lot, loads of different brands as well. And of course, if you are interested, they will all be linked down below. But without much further ado, let's get on into today's video. So I don't want it to be too long. However, we've got quite a few bits and pieces to cover. First things first, I'm gonna start off with the queen of skincare, Caroline Herons, Hirons? I'm so bad, I don't actually know how to pronounce her name. I'm like the worst. You're gonna figure that out with uh, pronunciations in this video. But this skincare book, I literally read in one setting. It was 20 pounds, I got it from Cold Beauty um, because I was ordering something else, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, yeah, it was there. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get it. I've got hair on my face, there we go. Um, it's the ultimate no-nonsense guide skincare and it is honestly amazing. It literally tells you so much much. I've learned so much as well. I cannot recommend it enough. And even though I've read it, like I still keep going back to certain pages to help me with certain bits and pieces. I've actually helped my mum on her skincare journey and this book has helped so, so much all about like vitamin A, retinol, um, retinoids, all of that jazz as well. So super duper amazing. It's given some amazing recommendations as well, in particular to products. So yeah, highly recommend that book if you haven't got it already. And if you don't know who she is, she's literally like the queen of skincare. Um, she is on This Morning quite a few times as well, so um, yeah, definitely check her out. She's got a YouTube channel as well, I'll link down below. Not, you know, sponsored or anything, but we're all here. <laughs> and the other thing from Cult Beauty that I ordered was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner, which is hydrating and pore refining. Now, Glow Recipe is kind of this brand that's a bit hit and miss with certain people, but with me, so far, I'm not even kidding, I've used this product two weeks, morning and night, and look how much I've used. Like, I'm not even, like, joking. It was full to the top. That's all I've used for two weeks. That's, like, that's nothing. That bottle will literally last me months. It's crazy. It smells like watermelon, which is amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. It's um, glass as well, pink. Very pretty. It smells like watermelon, which you either love or hate. I don't mind it. It's not my favourite scent, but I don't mind it. And um, I must admit... I have noticed a difference so far with it in those two weeks. However, I feel like recently what I've been doing is really overstripping my skin. So I have actually cut back on a few items, uh, but this one in particular is very good. And if you don't know what P uh, BHA is, BHA is basically salicylic acid, which is super duper helpful. Um, and this also does have hyaluronic acid. It's got watermelon in, obviously. It's also got cactus water in. PHA, which is a gentle non-drying acid that smooths and softens the skin. And it's known to be really good for sensitive skin as well. Um, so yeah, absolutely amazing. Highly recommend. This was £31, so this was probably one of the most expensive skincare products I've got. But as you can see, I've been using it for two weeks, morning and night. I pop a tiny, well, a couple of little drops over um, on a cotton pad and just pat it into my skin. You can do it in your hands or on the cotton pad and just very, very gently just pat it into your skin. You don't want to rub with this one, so highly recommend that. The next product I got is actually a um, like a backup. So I bought another one and it's actually the face halo. Now I got this from Boots. I think this one singular one is seven pounds. Um, I think you can only get singular ones on um, Boots, unfortunately, but regardless, it's so good. I've got one already. I use it on repeat. It's so good. However, I wanted to get another one just as a nice little backup if I don't want to use like a cleansing balm to take my makeup off, but it's so, so good. And I've actually done a review video on this and if you haven't seen that yet then I will link that down below so definitely check that out I kind of go through what you have to do with it and stuff and it's so so good and I think it's really good uh, for the price as well you literally just have water and it takes your makeup off but I do of course double cleanse with it so the other way that I take my makeup off is actually the body shop chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter I love this product so much I haven't had it for a while and I actually stopped using it because I thought it was pore blocking and I went to a La Roche Posay event back in November last year which was amazing like it was a gifted event I was so so grateful to attend and um, I spoke to one of the dermatologists oh so good and she basically said that like cleansing balms and like stuff like that will block your pores so I was kind of like oh god okay what do I do so I stopped using it and I must admit 
is my favourite makeup remover besides that face highlighter if I want a really nice deep in-depth cleanse this is definitely up there it's so affordable from the body shop I think it's like 11 pounds or something and it's so so good honestly and really for your evening double cleanse even with SPF even if you're not wearing makeup with your SPF you need a cleansing balm to really get into you know the gritty parts of your skin and then go over with a normal cleanser and speaking of normal cleansers I kind of stocked up on CeraVe <laughs> Now, CeraVe, I have heard some amazing things about because it's so affordable and it's actually made with dermatologists, which is absolutely amazing. So, the first cleanser that I have got that is mainly for normal to oily skin. Now, this is fragrance free. It cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier of the face and body. And it's got three essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Now, hyaluronic acid is a really, really good serum. It doesn't um, interfere with absolutely anything. You can pop it on with any of your other acids. It's basically just to help the moisture and keep the moisture barrier all like secure. Then you've got your niacinamide serum. Now, that one is absolutely amazing as well because it's going to help with your texture it's going to help um, basically with your blemishes and your acne I'm not going to say it's going to completely cure your acne but it is really going to kind of like target it calm it down control it a little bit better and it's so good and the fact that those ingredients are actually in this cleanser is amazing now it is the foaming cleanser this one however I have been using this for about a week and a half now and I feel like basically what I've been doing with my skincare routine at the moment I've got so many acids so many cleansers so many toners and I feel like I'm overdoing my skin so I've stepped back to this cleanser by CeraVe. So I've only actually used it today since filming this video, um, which is the hydrating one. Now this is for normal to dry skin, but this cleanser is amazing for oily skin as well. Now this one, again, you've got your three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So it doesn't have niacinamide in, which is fine, not a problem. You kind of need a hydrating cleanser. I am oily, very oily. I've just had to like powder before doing this video because my oils were coming through. I probably should have embraced it, but you know, no one wants to see that. So this one, even though it is for normal to dry skin, it is so, so good for oily skin as well because you want all that moisture back in. The reason why people's skin is oily in particular is because you don't have enough moisture in your skin. You need to hydrate it and that's the thing. The reason why your face is so oily is because it's producing excess sebum for your skin your skin doesn't have enough water i need to drink more water you know and it's just it's all into one basically so i really need all of that into my skin which is really going to help so the hydrating cleanser is going to help a lot especially now that i've over stripped my skin with all these other products that i've used but you live and you learn unfortunately like i'll just come close you can see my little family right there which is in a bad way that's also wearing a face mask i feel so that's that's another situation. And then the last cleanser from CeraVe is the Cytolic Acid Smoothing Cleanser. Now this is for dry, rough, bumpy skin. This has, of course, got your free essential ceramides, Cytolic Acid and Hyaluronic Acid. It's also fragrance free as well, which is amazing. Now this does foam up. The hydrating one actually doesn't. It's more like a lotion creamy kind of feel. Um, but the smoothing cleanser does foam up into a really nice like foam which I know isn't always the best for oily skin but um it seems to be doing the job for me and I'm actually going to be using this salicylic acid cleanser a lot more I've been using it for the last week and a half same as the phoning cleanser but only at night so this is going to be more of my like treatment if that makes sense so I don't actually or want to use any spot creams um if you know me you know I've been on a journey with lime cycling tablets and different spot cream and then duac spot cream and if you haven't seen those videos I will link all of like them down below the little playlist um, and I also did a complete sit down overview video so if you know you're interested that'll be there this is absolutely amazing this is really going to help you dry rough bumpy areas <laughs> um, and it is also going to help contain it with um, you know your acne and your spots and stuff again I'm not completely ruling it off and saying it's going to clear your skin and your acne it isn't it's just going to help you know the texture and bits and pieces really and then the last two products are from CeraVe that I picked up is that actually the moisturizer so it's the facial moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin but PM so this one is the night version the night cream it doesn't have SPF in 
and ideally I wanted one for my night cream and my day cream because I will have a separate SPF. So um, this one was actually on offer, which is why I picked up two in the three for two, which was really good on boots. Um, and this is really, really good as well. This is again, got your free essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. So obviously with the salicylic acid cleanser, it doesn't have niacinamide, um, same as a hydrating one, but the foaming cleanser does, but I'm getting it in this. So I would normally use like a high hyaluronic acid serum and a niacinamide serum as well. Um, but I'm gonna cut back my niacinamide one and just stick with my um, hyaluronic acid one but this so far i've literally used it for like three days and i love it so much so so much it's really really good it doesn't kind of like give off a horrible um greasy feel it comes in a bottle like this it's really really nice and soft um it doesn't feel um what's the word like it definitely doesn't feel greasy it's really really nice how it just blends in to your hand it's just got your typical like moisturizer cream kind of smell really soft that's gonna make my hands super soft now which i love and yeah really really been enjoying it so that's a winner winner that one speaking of spf now i at the moment have my body shop spf lotion vitamin e all that jazz really been enjoying it but i'm kind of worried that it's like pore blocking so i'm just going to use it up again a little goes a long way with that um, and i'll stick a picture up here of what it is and i'll link it down below for you as well but it's so so good so affordable as well which is fantastic but the one that i got which was included in the three for two is actually by la roche Posay. now this is the um I can never say it, and Anthelios, I'm not sure how you say it, but it's actually an SPF 50. Now for oily skin, my age as well, I am 24 years old, I have suffered with acne on off basically all my life since I was like 12, 13, since starting uh, puberty, so we love that. And it's basically like hormonal acne, which is a shame, but this is an SPF 50, very high protection it's saying, um, invisible fluid, ultra protection, very water and sweat resistant, anti-icing and sensitive skin, non-perfumed, and it's actually pocket size, so it's tiny tiny so i will be using this as soon as my body shop one is all done look how small that is it's so cute it does come tinted as well but i obviously will not be getting a tinted one if you know me i've had a la roche posay one before which was tinted and i had to give it to my mom because it basically made me so orange but that is really really recommended i think that's about 17 pounds so a little bit more on the pricier side in a way but so so worth it i think in my opinion not that i've tried it but the reviews that i've seen is just incredible and then another serum which i have been trying which i've had to strip back from at the moment but i do actually really like it is the um beauty bay own now this is the skin hit brightening serum vitamin c and peptide for brightening and evening out skin for all skin types so this is really really good it's uh, cruelty free and vegan targeted ingredients simple formula which is good i like the consistency of this the only thing is the bottle is plastic i know everything else is kind of plastic as well um but the good thing with the ordinary is it's all glass bottles which i really like but it's just your simple kind of packaging it's got a pipette as well which is really good and do you know what i do really like this so i really hope i can introduce it back into my skincare very soon i am stripping back just to see if uh, it all goes to plan you know and then the next item is from the ordinary now this was way before i decided to strip back my uh, skincare routine so i did manage to pick up another nice sign of my 10 percent and zinc one percent serum now this is really really good this is what i mean with a glass bottle you know it's got a pipette and everything as well and literally all i do is just put one drop in my hands and then again i would just lightly go in same with my vitamin c i'll pop um two to three drops of that into the palm of my hands because that's what it says on the um on the packaging and then i will just go in my hands and then tap it in gently i won't rub it in i've kind of learned that i can damage my skin like that which isn't a no-go so the next item from the ordinary isn't actually skincare based in a way but i just thought i'd introduce it as well and um, this is the high adherent silicon primer this is meant to be so good it's literally like £3.50 or £3.75 or something from Boots. So good. It's really cute and tiny. And now I've got it and now I've shown it a haul. I am super excited to give it a try because it's meant to be so, so good and it's so affordable. Like £3 something is crazy. And then last but not least, guys, it's actually a set by Ole Henriksen. Now, this is a pre-makeup baby set, skincare prep set. 
which is meant to be really good. So it comes in its own little travel case, which is lovely. This set was actually 36 pounds, but when you actually realize the products and the sizes, you'll soon see why. So in this set, there was two items in particular I really wanted to try, which was the Glow 2OH, Glow 2O? Oh, I think that's what it's saying. Dark spot toner. And this is actually 65 milliliters. So this is a really good size. This is like your perfect travel size. This is meant to be incredible, absolutely incredible for your dark spots. So if my little friends, you know, decide to um, kind of stay and scar, I will eventually introduce that, which is going to be good. And then the other product that comes in, this is the PHA T Glow Facial Mask. This is a 15 mil. So this is a nice little size. This is probably maybe like three or four masks out of this. I'm not sure. I haven't heard that much about that product, if I'm honest. And then the next item is the Banana Bright Face Primer. Now this is vitamin C and banana powered inspired pigments. This is 15 mil again. I did actually try this out in a recent Q&A video. Um, I didn't mind it but I definitely got a lot lot more oily and glowier throughout the day so yeah I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with that and then the last item in here that I really wanted to try and get my hands on is actually a 7 mil is of course the banana bright eye cream now this is such a good little size especially for traveling it smells bloody incredible and I've been using this non-stop and I really haven't used that much you really don't need a lot in an eye cream at all you don't need a lot you literally need like the tiniest bit and the best tip that i can kind of like give from working with um you know a makeup and skincare brand before is you need to like apply it here just looking at my viewfinder apply it here not directly under because down here it's gonna soak it all up so ideally you kind of want to go all the way up here in that sense okay so you need to make sure you're going on the top of your lids as well even though some people's may be a bit more oilier it really is going to help the texture and especially on the insides as well so yeah but so far i've been really liking the eye cream so that's really good so guys that is going to be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you've tried any of these products below don't forget to subscribe if you would like to but if you do make sure you hit that notification bell and then that way you're notified for when i next upload and i'll see you guys in a brand new video soon